Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome to M. How Nine's Fish Tanks, and welcome back to my fish barn. Today we're gonna to take a look at a species that I found at the aquatic experience that I absolutely fell in love with. Here's a short video clip of it right here. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about this fish, stay tuned as we go through the species profile of the Pundamilia nyeri, and at the end of the video, we'll take a look at my Pundamilia nyeri setup that I have here in the fish barn. So let's go ahead and get started. The Pundamilia nyeri is a three inch fish that is endemic to Lake Victoria, primarily found at the southern end of the lake. This fish lives in shallow water uh, with rocky outcroppings and gets to be about three inches long or 7.7 .7 centimeters if you're using a metric measurement. From the research I can find online, it comes from eight different locations. Uh, the most common one that I saw in the hobby being from Python Island. Um, I'll put a link in the description of the video of the resource I found uh, where I found kind of a description of the different types. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can take a look and see uh, the different types and the different islands where it comes from. Uh, from an endangerment standpoint, according to fishbase.org, uh, it's not really considered endangered. It was showing green status according to fishbase. Now let's get into the aquarium keeping aspect of keeping this fish. Uh, um, like I said earlier, this fish gets to be about three inches long. In the wild, it is found eating uh, various types of invertebrates, uh, but it is an omnivore. Uh, so from a feeding perspective, uh, all of the sites I went and looked at uh, mentioned spirulina. Uh, so I've been kind of feeding them basically a uh, the vegetable-based pellet, something that you would maybe give like a trophius. Uh, right now I've been using the north fin. So that's what I've been using for this fish. Uh, the minimum tank size I would keep this fish in uh, would be a 55 gallon. Uh, kind of ranged online, one site said 30. Um, just kind of from what I've seen with the fish in my own care. I mean, it's not been too long, I've been about a month or so, but I would say 55 is a good number. Uh, one of them had 55, one of them had 30. I have them in a 75, but I have about 10, 10 specimens, so I have quite a few. Uh, you do want to keep more, you do want to keep more males than females. Uh, so you basically, uh, this fish from a spawning perspective is a mouth brooder. So as it goes through uh, the breeding process, uh, the females can hold for up to two weeks. So therefore, uh, you really do want to, you know, keep it kind of rotated. You know, you don't want a whole bunch of males in there. Uh, so you would really keep it, you know, like maybe one male to three to four females. Uh, that'd be, I think that would be a good ratio. Uh, but you do want to provide a rocky, um, Kind of like an Ibuna, you want to provide a lot of rocky hiding spots. Uh, from tank mate perspective, a lot of them mentioned keeping them with other uh, Lake Victorian cichlids. I honestly would just keep them in a species tank and have them uh, just have them in a species tank and enjoy them for what they are. Uh, you know, I do plan on maybe getting some more uh, Victorian cichlids, but I do really want to keep them all separate. Uh, one thing kind of important too is if you do have a collection point. You do want to keep that collection point pure, so you don't want to mix different Pundamelia and Iri species. Uh, the ones that I have do not have a collection point, uh, so what, when they do color up, I am going to take a look at them and see if I can figure out a collection point. And for say, if I have two males that are showing very different coloration, I may actually move them to a different tank. Uh, that may not do much good, but at least you know, at least we'll try to keep the. Keep it separate and also from a uh, from a ph perspective for this fish you do want to kind of keep it in the higher range um, again the internet varied thus it's the internet but uh, some said from seven two to eight six another one said to seven eight to eight six so i would so i would go on the uh, higher end of that scale the water here in michigan is pretty hard so i don't really have any issues keeping uh keeping uh, the hard water fish here so i haven't seen it a problem but if you're in a softer water state uh, you may need to look into some of the cichlid salts and some of the uh, some of that. Uh, maybe just crushed coral, uh, some of the uh, some of the reef rock, even like I've used. And from a temperature standpoint, with these fish, you really do want to keep them uh, typical top tropical temperatures, uh, the 74 to 82 degree range. So, uh, 
So now that we've taken a look at the species profile for the Pundamillia nyari, let's go ahead and take a look at my actual tank that I have upstairs here in the fish barn. All right, uh, here we are at my uh, Pundamillia nyari tank. This tank is a 75-gallon. Uh, I've basically used uh, some old reef, uh, reef rock for this tank. So basically I've got a rocky outcropping here. Heading towards the other side, have another uh, outcropping there. So they've all kind of, they're all kind of hanging out here in this rock. So this fish right here is the uh, dominant male right in the front of you here. Uh, you can see it's starting to get its coloration. Um, the females are just kind of the drab uh, yellowish color with the stripes. So that's the, uh, that's the tank setup itself. Uh, filtration wise, it does run on a sponge filter. And then on the bottom here, let's head down towards the bottom, there is the sump. This is just a 10 gallon tank with um, bio balls and a, and a J-Bow uh, return pump. So I'm looking forward to seeing these guys grow out and color up. So we'll take another quick look here. Um, there's another male here too that's uh, gotten pretty dominant as well. Uh, may have to split these guys up into two colonies. I haven't decided yet, but uh, that's what we've got right now. Uh, so I'm gonna try to figure out a uh, collection point at some point on these fish, but that is the uh, Pundamelia nyari tank. Well, that concludes today's video. Taking a look at the Pundamelia nyari and my Pundamelia nyari tank. So if you enjoy the content of this video and the other videos on my channel, please hit the like button, share the content out, and as always, hit the notification bell. And as always, thank you for watching. Batteries, you just use that. And I, when I went on vacation, I had like a hydration pack and it fit yeah. right in the pocket. I had power, whenever it was low, I just, you know, oh, having, nice. you know having your yeah. pocket charging basically, just yeah. taking pictures and videos that never went down. Like it was vacation, I had like a, hydration pack and it fit yeah. right in the pocket. I had power. Whenever it was low I just you know oh, having, nice. you know having your yeah. pocket charging